Element Church meets at Mr. Small's Theater. It's a former Roman Catholic church that was closed down and an area businessman purchased the property and turned it into one of the premier rock concert venues in the city of Pittsburgh. And many nights of the week there are concerts and shows and you know rock concerts that go on with, with bands that are, some of them are just fine but others of them are just plain anti-God. It's just mind blowing. But let me tell you something, on Sunday mornings we transform that space into a place where lives are changed, into a place where souls are saved, into a place where um, your investment has helped us to be able to reach people. And uh, not just the average person, you know, because here's the thing. Some of the people who come to Mr. Smalls w might go to another church, but some of the people, many of the people who come to Mr. Smalls are people who would never darken the doors of a traditional church. But because we're on their turf, we're in their space, because of that, they've come to church and I can give you names and I can show you faces of people whose lives have been eternally altered, whose lives are headed towards heaven and are headed towards God because of the way that you've invested in Element Church. I actually went to Element Church on accident when I slept in from the church that I normally go to. And I got there and thought, oh, I'll check it out. I'll see what it's like. And at the moment I walked in, I really, really loved the atmosphere. I loved that it was loud, it was dark. Everybody seemed pretty nice and cool and there wasn't any pressure to be churchy while I was there. Um, and then through all of that, I really regained my relationship with God and I was able to join the worship team and work in the youth ministry now. And it's just been so great because I'm, I'm able to be with other people that are like me, but they're not like me. It's so different. All of the people are so different from anyone I would normally meet. And it's really a great place for everybody to come and to, to get to know each other and get to know God. I grew up in the church, I went to Sunday school, I was confirmed at a Lutheran church, I went to church through high school and into college, but at one point I became really jaded about it because all of the you know, Christians that I met were very hateful, very judgmental, very hypocritical people. That's not what you know, Christianity, what God is all about. And so I kind of stopped going to church, I just didn't have a relationship with him anymore. I uh, was going through a very difficult, very trying period of time in my life, probably the most trying. And I was having like a complete nervous breakdown. And whenever I have breakdowns, I usually call my friend Aaron because he's just one of those people that just, you know, just gets me. So it was kind of a surprise when after I called him crying and I was telling him all what was going on with me and what was wrong that he said, Sarah, I think that you realize there's something missing in your life, and I think what that is, is God. I was just like, that's not what I need right now. You're crazy, like, why are you telling me this? And so, after we hung up, I, you know, took a couple of days, I was thinking about it, and I ended up calling him, and I asked him if I could come to church with him. So Aaron happened to be on the worship team in, at Element Church. So they were having their first service, and I went, and Rich was giving a sermon about forgiveness. And it was very touching. I actually started crying and it completely changed my heart. And so I started to get more and more involved. I think to say what Element Church, how it's changed my life is change it in the greatest way you possibly could. It's given me the opportunity to come back to God and come back to Christ and develop a relationship that I never had before. My story of how I came to Element Church is, well, it goes back a, a few years. I feel like I've been really off my path um, with Jesus. I did start to come to know Him 
when I was maybe 18, 19 years old, I started to build a relationship with Jesus, but then I didn't follow through with it. I kind of went downhill and um, I wasn't really doing anything wrong, but I was just kind of going through the motions of life and kind of procrastinating on getting back into trying to find Jesus again. So um, a couple years ago, my um, grandmother passed away and she was one of my best friends. And at that point, uh, I just started spiraling downwards. There was other things also going on in my life. Just got really down and depressed and just started living just for myself, totally living for myself, not um, living for the people and the person that I love the most and hurting those that care about me and just being selfish and doing what I want when I want, just worrying about having a good time and that all got old really quick and I just got really down and didn't know where to go and I came home one day and there was a flyer on my doorknob for Element Church up at Mr. Small's, which is just a few blocks away. And I said, I'll go check this out. Went there for the first service. I literally just sat there and cried during the music and the, the message by Pastor Rich. Everything just spoke to my heart. I felt Jesus speaking to my heart that day. And I decided I'm going to keep going back and at that time Element Church was once a month so I went once a month, every month and then finally it was every week and I was so happy for that so I go every week, every Sunday I call it my Jesus fuel for the week to get me through and um, since I've been going back life has just been better, I mean I'm not going to lie, it's been better, um, I feel like a better person, a better daughter, sister, a better friend, I'm a better girlfriend, a better nurse, um, I'm happier at my job now. I just try to see things through through Jesus' eyes and the way that he would want me to do things and treat people and it really has changed everything in my life and so I guess I can say that Element Church has changed my life. I like Elman Church. I like coming to, you know, it's just a real comfortable feeling place. You come in every week and, you know, it's not like a typical churchy place. It's a show venue and you just feel comfortable there. You have a very welcoming place. Everyone there just talks to you really friendly. It's a pretty cool place. Maybe you've been watching this video and listening to some of the stories and, and uh, seeing some of the sights of what goes on at Element Church and you say, man, that doesn't seem like any church I've ever been to. But uh, I want to tell you, that's because it isn't. It's a different kind of church and we still preach the same gospel. We still uh, do the same things that, that regular churches would do. But um, our goal is to reach those people that are furthest away from God. Those people who may not feel that uh, going to a regular church would be for them. Or maybe they feel like there's just too much sin in their life. But they'll come to a place like Mr. Smalls. They'll come to a place where uh, they're used to going to concerts and, and uh, they'll show up on a Sunday morning just because they're curious and then they're encountered with the presence of God. And I'll tell you what, we're seeing people saved every single week. Every single week it happens. We see one hand go up, two hands, sometimes uh, as many as four and five and, and, and one week we even had ten hands go up. But we're seeing people come to know Jesus all the time. And I'm so excited. In the next couple weeks, we're going to have our first baptism service. And we've got a, a bunch of people already signed up for that. And I, I just want to encourage you, if, if, if God is speaking to you to, to pray for us, pray for us. Let that be your investment. But if God is speaking to you, maybe to give, maybe to do something a little bit more so that we can continue to reach um, the people of Millvale and to reach the young adults across our city, um, I would like to encourage you to pray about that. And if God would, would lay it on your heart, um, we're asking for 24 churches or individuals or companies or whoever would be interested in helping us. We need about 24 churches who would say, I'll invest $50 a month in what you're doing there. Um, who, will, who will say that, that for $50, um, I'm looking forward to see the investment in the kingdom of God continue to bring souls in in the community of Millvale and to see young adults from around our city continue to, to stream into our church. 
and to uh, be encountered with the presence of God. If God's speaking to you about that, I'd encourage you to, uh, to let us know. Send me an email, call me, whatever it takes. But um, I want to encourage you to, uh, to let God speak to you in that way. And if you can help us out, we'd really appreciate it. Well, I'm so glad we got to take you on kind of a, a tour of the mission of what Element Church is and to let you see some of the hearts and lives that have been impacted. And uh, I just thank you for all of your support. May God bless you.